Dear students, welcome back to the next very important topic in the second chapter, Forms of Business Organization. See, in the second chapter, Forms of Business Organization, already we have discussed sole trading business organizations. And the second one, that is partnership. In the partnership, already we have discussed meaning of partnership, features of partnership, merits and demerits of partnership. The next very important topic for Freiman is the practical way in question. Section E. Section E. Practical way in question that is partnership deed. Dear students, this is the very important and very essential topic to discuss. Partnership deed. So partnership. The partnership means a form of business organization. B means the written agreement which contains certain terms and conditions of the partnership is called partnership deal. So here the partnership deal, it is not compulsion as per the Partnership Act of 1932 in India or elsewhere to start a partnership. B is not compulsion but to start limited liability partnership form, partnership deal is compulsion as per the Partnership Act of 1932. Do remember. So in a partnership deal, partnership deal means the agreement, the written agreement between the partners of a partnership. The partnership deal means the written agreement between the partners of a partnership which contains certain terms and conditions is called partnership deal. In general sense, but as per NCRT, partnership deal means the agreement, the agreement, written or oral, implied or expressed, the agreement put in writing, the agreement put in writing, the agreement put in writing, duly stamped and signed, the agreement put in writing, Duly stamped and signed by all the partners of partnership, which contains certain terms and conditions, is called partnership deal. This is very important for to mark. What is partnership deal? As per NCRT, partnership deal refers to the agreement put in writing, duly stamped and signed by all the partners of a partnership. Which contains certain terms and conditions is called partnership deal. So, partnership deal it is very essential at the time of the establishment or startup or commencement of partnership business. All the partners of the partnership are the partners who all are interested to invest their money to run a business in order to earn a profit. Basically, at the initial stage, they form and they prepare deed. They prepare deed in order to avoid and overcome and control unexpected events. Unexpected events are clashes or conflicts between the partners with respect to sharing of profit, losses. Liability of the partnership and other aspects, assets, uh, reduction of capital, reduction of loans, right? To overcome all these problems pertaining to the partnership business, D is very essential as per the Act of 1930. Let's go ahead with the contents of partnership D. So, as we are now that to start a partnership, the partners of a partnership. They prepare a partnership deal. Now let us come to know the contents of partnership deal or the terms and conditions of partnership deal are the written transactions or the points to be considered at the time of preparation of partnership deal. So all the past partners must keep in mind these points at the time of preparation of partnership deal. So, partnership deal means the agreement contains 
these elements. The return argument contains these elements called partnership D. Let us come to know the elements of partnership D. The first one is name of the partnership form. The name of the partnership form, for example, XYZ company or ABC company. The name of the partnership form. So, firstly, all the partners of the partnership business, they should title. They should give title to their business. That is the name of the form. This is very important. One of the very important contents of partnership deed. That is the name of the partnership form. Secondly, name and address of the partners. The name of each and every partners of the partnership and address. Address of the partners. So their address must be disclosed. So this is one of the very important contents of partnership deed that is name and address of the partners. Next one is nature of the business. The nature of partnership business. Nature of partnership business means their product or service or goods. What they are going to produce. What they are going to render. What they are going to provide to the customer. So the name of the product should be mentioned. That is nature of the business. Next one is date of commencement. When partnership is going to be commenced. From when onwards they are going to start a business. On which date they are going to start up their business. That is the date of commencement of the partnership business. Next one is amount of capital contributed. Means the total amount of capital contributed, the total amount of capital contributed and the capital contributed by each and every partner of the partnership business. This is also very important. Amount of capital contributed by all the partners and the amount of capital contributed by each and every individual. So we are average and the total capital contributed into the partnership business organization. The next one is Types of partnership. So, in types of partnership, in previous class already we have discussed. There are five types of partnership business organization. Right? The partnership business organization for a big separation. Next, partnership at will, specific partnership business organization, limited liability partnership business organization, unlimited partnership business organization. Among these five types, what type of partnership business they have chosen? That is, types of partnership. For example, your unlimited liability partnership business. Unlimited liability partnership business organization. That they have to mention. That they have to specify. Next one is types of partners. There are various types of partners. Active partners, thinking partner, nominal partner, partner for profit only, minor partner, partner by escrow. Various types of partners. So, in this business, how many partners are active? How many partners are staking? How many partners are dormant? How many partners are profit? So, regarding it, in the deed, everything should be specified, everything should be shown properly, everything should be recorded properly. That is, regarding types of partners. How many partners are there? In that, what are the roles and responsibilities? And what is the power of each and every partner in that organization? And their type and their nature, that is, types of partners. Next one is liability of partners, the liability of each and every partner of partnership business organization, limited liability or unlimited liability. Whose liability is limited and whose liability is unlimited in this partnership business organization, that should be specified, that is, regarding the liability of the partners of partnership business organization. The next one is profit and loss share ratio. This is very important in order to avoid the future conflicts, the misunderstanding between the partners. This is very important. It has to be specified. It has to be mentioned properly regarding profit and loss sharing ratio among the partners of a partnership business organization based on their amount or the size of capital contributed into the partnership business organization. Are based on their investment proportion, sharing of profit and losses in a partnership business organization. Next one is rights, responsibilities, and duties of each and every part 
partner in the partnership business organization. What are the roles and responsibilities of active partner, sleeping partner, nominal partner, partner for profit only? So the rights, duties and responsibilities of all the partners of partnership business organization. Based on this, right, on future, the partners of a partnership business organization, they go ahead with the day-to-day business activities. Next one is about dissolution of partnership business organization. Dissolution of partnership means wind up of the partnership. Regarding wind up of the partnership, uh, proceedings, provisions, that the applicable rules and regulations, terms and conditions, everything. So that is the very important factor, the very important content about dissolution of partnership. Over dissolution, or the before dissolution, or during dissolution, what are the provisions? What are the rules and regulations? What are the terms and conditions? What is the proceeding? What are the required steps to be taken? What is the procedure? What is the way? So that has to be decided and should be recorded in a deed. And at the end, signature of all the parts of partnership business organization, or else it will not be complete. It will not become right. Be a legally accepted document. To make it legally accepted or a legal document, right, or a formal document, signatures of all the partners of partnership is very important. At the end, so this is about partnership deal. Dear students, partnership means a business or a type of business or a form of business going to be started, invested and run by two or more partners. Then partnership deal means the agreement, the written agreement or the agreement put in writing duly stamped and signed by all the partners of a partnership which contains certain terms and conditions of partnership and the contents of partnership. This is very important for five most expected question. Under section E, states or mention any five contents of partnership deed, the most expected and repeated question under section E. So the contents are name of the partnership business, name and address of the partners, nature of partnership business, date of commencement of the partnership, amount of capital contributed by all the partners and individual. Next, types of partnership. Types of partners, liability of partners, profit and loss sharing ratio, rights and duties of all the partners of a partnership. Next, about dissolution of partnership at the end, signature. So, this is about partnership. Thank you, my dear students. Thanks for watching. Do share, subscribe, and comment.